the silent ISP battles have begun. And this is currently happening in Kenya. Because of this, rural Kenya just got a serious connectivity upgrade. Safaricom is coming for Starlink. They've been doing this for a little while. They are rolling out dozens of new 5G sites in towns that were never on Safaricom's broadband map before. Now, they are doing this to win the ads and wallets of their users. Safaricom has slashed its 5G router price from 25,000 Kenya shillings to 3,000 Kenya shillings. That is about from $192 down to $23. And they are pairing this with flexible data bundles. Safaricom is targeting fiber dark zones. These are areas that Starlink first found traction. Now, remember this. Starlink only entered Kenya in 2023. And now, they are already ranked number seven amongst the highest speeds with 19,000 plus rural subscribers. That is massive. But while Starlink worked on extra ground stations to beat congestion, Safaricom is leaning on its familiar mo uh, mobile network, lower hardware cost, and pay as you go model. Now, this pay as you go culture is done to reclaim up country users. Wow. Now, the battle is on. Safaricom, satellite speed versus homegrown 5G affordability. Either way, rural Kenyans are about to enjoy faster, more reliable internet than ever before. And that is a win for everyone. And that's what I think. This is a situation where competition is a very good thing. If Starlink never entered Kenya, maybe existing telcos would have just been relaxing and doing what they do best, which is not caring. Are not caring about improving the the quality of service and the service delivery this competition is a good thing the fact that safaricom is making these changes is because starlink is giving them a run for their money let me know what you think about this follow for more optimistic african tech stories